I've been exposing the darkness of Islam for 22 years. The issue that I'm trying to, to say is that we need to become a community of believers who embrace suffering. We need to embrace it. And we need to be public about it like hallelujah, glory to God, brothers and sisters, members of the body of Christ are willing to die for their faith and to point out that this is a this is part and parcel of the faith in which we are a part of. Once this darkness is here, you see it. You know, it's like, okay, am I going to shine? Do I love God? Do I love people? If I love them, I'm not going to compromise with them. I'm going to run in front of them and let them run smack into me so they don't fall off that cliff. So, this is where we are. This is why this message is really good, the original message of the prophets. Because the prophets are still prophesying. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So when you speak of Jesus, you're prophesying to them. You're letting them know what God did to save all of us. And you can go in any of them. You know, there's all highlights, many, many highlights of the prophets, of Jesus in the prophets, beginning at Genesis. Thank you. Well said, Connie. The last message to all nations around the world until the end of time is the gospel of the kingdom. There is no other 